the leading finger jab is the fastest attacking weapon available to you. It is fast in reaching your target because it travels only a short distance. Accuracy and speed is essential in this technique because you focus your aim at the eyes of your enemy. The jab is a dangerous weapon to the adversary because it does so much damage and is very difficult to defend against. Since you do not clench your fist but have your fingers extended, you add several more inches to your reach. To protect yourself from damaging your fingers, learn to form your hand properly. Align the tip of your hand by slightly bending the longer fingers to adjust to the shorter and tuck your thumb in. Your hand should resemble a spear. Speed relies on economy of motion, and the jab is one technique with which you have the opportunity to experiment. The jab, like all the blows in JKD, must be thrust forward without any retracting motion. The trick in non-telegraphic moves is to relax your body and arms, but keep them weaving in a slight motion. Whip out your hand loosely so your shoulders don't tense, and clench your fist just an instant before contact as you snap it. You have to keep a poker face while facing your opponent. A slight twitch or expression on your face may trigger your intention and warn your opponent. You can train in non-telegraphic punches with a focus pad. Have your partner hold the pad at different heights and then jerk the pad quickly when you attempt a jab. Another exercise that you can include in your training is the clapping game. Stand about a full arm's length plus another four inches away from him. Let your partner keep his hands about a foot apart in front of him. The idea is to throw a punch to his face or body straight between his hands. It is a test as to whether you can hit the target before he can clap your hand. If he can't, then let him reduce the distance between his hands to about six inches. As the assailant attacks, counter with a quick and powerful sidekick to the forward knee. Follow through with a back fist. Before the attacker can throw a punch, counter with a sidekick to his knee, and then follow up with a kick to the groin. With no warning, the attacker rushes towards you and attempts a kick to your midsection. Step back, block the kick, and as soon as the attacker places his foot down, execute a side kick to the back of his knee. Follow up with a choke hold. The assailant approaches you in a crouch, an unusual way of attacking. From an on-guard position, deliver a side kick to the side of the forward knee, causing him to drop. Follow up by dragging him down, finish off with a heel stomp to the face. Once the assailant is down on the ground, you have to make sure he doesn't retaliate, so always follow through with other techniques. Against a full swing, you have more time to counter because the assailant greatly telegraphs his move. Before the punch can reach you, lean back and execute a side kick to his chest. When the assailant attempts a rear right hook, parry the block to the side of your head and immediately follow with a finger jab to the eye.
As the assailant attempts a rear right hook, rotate your hips clockwise, quickly placing your weight evenly on both feet, and execute a finger jab to the eyes without blocking the attack. Your striking hand and change of position will cause the assailant's punch to miss its mark. Like the full swing attack, you have more time to counter against someone trying to tackle you. As the assailant attempts to tackle your legs from the on-guard position, step forward and deliver a front kick to the attacker's face. As the assailant attacks with a tackle, slide your rear foot back slightly to brace yourself. Grab the assailant's neck in a headlock as he comes toward you. Slide your front foot backward and pin the assailant to the ground while maintaining a chokehold. Be sure to execute the pin quickly, or the attacker could make a strike to your groin. An assailant seizes your chest with his left hand and attempts to knee your groin. Grab the assailant's left arm and simultaneously execute a right bottom fist strike to his groin. Then thrust your left hand to his throat. While shoving his throat back, grab his sleeve with your other hand, pulling the assailant clockwise and down. Finish him off with a stomp to the face. The assailant grabs your arm with both of his hands. Quickly face him and deliver a low crescent kick to the knee, followed by a punch to the face and a leg sweep and stomp to the head. The crescent kick may not be powerful when you first attempt it, but constant practice on the heavy bag can make it into a valuable and strong kick. An assailant grabs your arm with both of his hands. Lean back and quickly deliver a low side kick to the attacker's knee. An assailant grabs your right arm. Before the attacker can throw his punch, pull your right arm back, twist your hips, and deliver a left cross without hesitation. Attacking you from behind, the assailant locks your right arm and keeps your head in a grip. Using the attacking momentum, turn your body toward your locked arm counterclockwise, forcing the assailant off balance. While keeping the assailant's arm locked under your body, execute a reverse elbow strike to his groin, head, butt, and knee to the side. The attacker puts a reverse wrist lock on your right hand. Immediately retaliate with a side kick to his midsection and a spinning back kick to the same section of his body with your other foot. When someone grabs you with a reverse lock, you have to counter instantly before he can pin you to the ground. An assailant grabs your chest with both hands. Lock the attacker's arm while simultaneously executing a right cross to his face. An assailant grabs your chest with both hands. Lock the assailant's arm, then follow through with a forward elbow strike to the attacker's face. The important movement in this section is to trap the assailant's right hand and attack before he can do damage to you. An attacker sneaks up behind you and grabs your shirt. Quickly turn your torso and apply a back fist to the attacker's face. The assailant grabs you with a back arm lock that is difficult to get out of. The quickest way is to execute a back kick to his groin. The assailant grabs your chest 
and attempts to punch your face. Grab the assailant's wrist with your left hand and at the same time deliver a punch straight to his jaw. Follow up with a trip and takedown and a knee to his face. Instead of a punch to the assailant's jaw, you can also use an effective finger jab. An assailant attempts to choke you. Grab his arm and step out to the side and deliver a front kick to his groin and a kick to the head. An attacker has a strong headlock on you. Quickly deliver a finger jab to his eyes with your free hand. Then control the attacker with a wrist lock. An assailant has a headlock on you. Place the hand that's behind the attacker's back over his shoulder and claw his face. Again, control him with a wrist lock. The attacker has the same headlock on you. Turn your body toward the attacker and with your free hand execute a blow to his groin. Whenever you are caught in a headlock, you must act fast with a counter or else the attacker will drag you to the ground, making it harder to free yourself. An assailant sneaks up behind you and strangles you with his left arm, grabbing your right hand. Before the assailant can bend you backward in a vulnerable position, move quickly to your right and apply an elbow strike to the assailant's exposed rib area and stomp on his feet. An attacker grabs you from behind and puts you in a tight bear hug pinning both of your arms. Immediately execute a left hand strike to his groin and headbutt to his face. The assailant has a bear hug around you but your arms are free. Instead of attempting to free yourself from the grip, just deliver a reverse elbow strike to his face, then continue with an arm lock. The assailant grabs you from the front and lifts you off your feet. Swing your foot back and deliver an upward knee blow to the assailant's groin. The assailant grabs you from the rear and lifts you off your feet. Swing back your head to bang it against the assailant's face. Another option is to execute a blow to his groin with either of your free hands. You have more time to act in this situation because the attacker can't do anything to you as long as he keeps hugging you. The assailant has a frontal headlock on you. Before he can drop you to the ground, take aim and throw an uppercut to his groin. Sometimes in close quarters fighting, you may end up in a headlock. The most important thing is to counter quickly so you are not pinned to the ground. An assailant swings a club at you. Stepping back just enough to let the club miss you, quickly retaliate with a side kick to the body. As the attacker swings his club at you, duck under the blow and block his arm to prevent another swing. Immediately counter with a knee to his midsection.
The assailant attempts to jab you with his club, block the jab, and simultaneously deliver a strike to his head and throat. Then maintain an arm lock and disarm the opponent. As the attacker attempts a swing at you, move swiftly towards him, jamming his arm with your front hand, and deliver a body punch. Trip him to the ground and follow up with a kick. If you're at a farther distance, duck underneath the staff. As it passes over your head, quickly counter with a hook kick to the stomach and a front kick to the head. When the assailant thrusts his staff at you, sidestep the thrust and seize the staff. Follow up with a side kick to his chest while still holding on to the staff and a roundhouse kick to the head. When the assailant thrusts his staff at your midsection, again, sidestep the thrust, seize the staff, and quickly execute a front kick to his hand. Once the weapon is released, launch a sidekick into his midsection. The attacker faces you with a knife. Before he attacks, fake a finger jab toward his face, which will cause him to react. Swiftly execute a low sidekick to his knee. Follow up with a kick to the head. As the attacker swings the knife at you, quickly evade the assault by stepping back. Burst forward with a low side kick. An assailant points a gun against your back. Quickly turn your body counterclockwise, using your arm to parry his hand so you'll be away from the line of fire. Attack his neck and maintain a hold on his wrist and follow up with blows to the face while disarming the weapon. Again, move away from the line of fire while attacking his throat and seizing his wrist to disarm the attacker. While sitting in a chair, you are approached by an assailant. Without warning, he rushes you and you should immediately, without hesitation, deliver a front thrust kick to the groin without getting up. While sitting in a chair, you're surprised by an assailant who grabs your shirt with both hands. Quickly counter with a right punch to his groin. While sitting in a chair, an assailant surprises you from the rear by applying a headlock. Immediately grab his hair with the arm closest to his head and deliver a finger jab to his eyes. You are pinned by an assailant who has a headlock on you and has your right hand pinned. 
With your free hand, go for his eyes, then pin him with your legs and apply a wrist lock. You are lying flat on your back with the attacker choking you. Grasp one of his wrists to relieve the choke pressure and with your other hand execute a finger jab. Follow up with counter blows to his groin until he releases his grip. <laughs> 